guys, this is Captain Noob here, and this is the Freezing Flamer. So this thing is one of the more ironic legendary effects you can get out there for a specific legendary weapon. And what I'm going to do right now is try to go ahead and get two for one freezing happening. Sorry, this guy. Come on. Yep. So as you can tell there, this thing freezes on critical hits, which is a pretty good idea uh, generally for a weapon, but... On the flamer, it's completely useless because, obviously, as you can tell right there, coming straight out of that, you'll be getting a glitch which allows you to do zero damage, which is great. So, as you can tell, this thing is going to be a high DPS, low damage type weapon, so it's going to be running through its ammo fast in exchange for, hopefully, high uh, killing potential, but obviously that isn't happening. The flamer is one of the worst heavy weapons in this game, it's sort of like the submachine gun of heavy weapons and that's not, and that's uh, saying quite a lot because in this game generally heavy weapons are not as good as your standard weapons weapons like the Gatling laser and minigun are nowhere near as powerful and that's another fucking bats glitch, good job Flamer I'm impressed by your performance today we'll go ahead and toast this gun uh, so much that she freezes back to the ice age with you we'll wait a while so our flamer doesn't glitch and then we'll continuously burn her face off until she dies there we go so as you can tell there again this is going to be a very very low damage weapon that isn't worthy of being used on any difficulty other than very easy or possibly survival but even then there's probably better options for this so, now that we've been detected, we'll go ahead and freeze this gunner, just in case she doesn't shoot us. Then we'll pop a quick reload to not get a terrible no damage glitch, and we'll roast her in the face. Considering I'm burning these guys with a flame where they're taking it pretty well, they, they breed them tough at the gunners, I'll tell you that much. So we'll go ahead and take out these guns here. That turret will go down nicely. And we'll single out this particular legendary gunner and crit them now that they're lined up and you can freeze two in a row which is admittedly a pretty cool deal that you can do with the flamer just because of its wide cone of angle and fire it can cause many people to die in the door to get caught in its flames so we'll go ahead and try to line these two up no oh, I ran out of crits good job mate oh well We'll go ahead and uh, follow this up in VATS a little bit because currently we're getting pretty much destroyed here without any chance of fighting back. And as you can tell here, this thing is fucking useless when it comes to VATS too because even though we are doing all this VATS work, we're not seeing a single point of damage drop off the health of that particular legendary gunner. So we'll go ahead and freeze this one. And while that other one's not around, we'll just go and toast this one on our own. Now, you'd expect the flamer to sort of negate the freezing effect once they're down there and you start hitting them again, but it doesn't. They remain paralyzed there for a while, which is probably a good thing because if they weren't, they'd get straight back up and start shooting me again and the flame, the freezing effect on the flamer would be even worse than it actually is now. Now, you do get a, little, a tiny bit of extra damage, like a tiny bit of extra energy damage on your flamer with this, but as you can tell, we're not doing anywhere close to good damage right now but that long range freeze was quite good I'll give it that there we go we'll wait for our glitch to subside and then we'll start roasting their faces again getting that highest damage as we possibly can on these guys because we surely need it anytime now there we go so now we are running low on crits again what I might do is go up to this melee gunner over here we'll go ahead and roaster in vats so we can have more crits when it comes around to killing the final dudes look how fast those crits are going up man that's quick you chuck lucky on a flamer and you're gonna have a good time with the crits that might even be a good meta for just having a lot of crits on you just uh, whip out a flame whenever you need crits and go to town in vats and then you've got them all back within your second shot which is pretty good but again, that's a whole lot of weight to be carrying around for something so trivial. You're better off probably just using a um, dancer's laser rifle that he gives you. Righteous authority, that'll probably be good. That'll probably be good. Okay, so 
I was looking at my ammo, it wasn't dropping off, so obviously there there was a no damage glitch, so I didn't wait quite long enough before I went ahead and... Oh no, no stim packing here. You'll die, like the rest of them. There we go. I think we're in nerd rage mode here, so it's time to do a little bit more damage. Hopefully we won't have to freeze these guys. Might actually see good damage with all this boosted, but no. We're still taking half an hour to kill these gunners. Alrighty. Last one. Come on, come on. And you're dead. So, now it's up to the turrets. Can't freeze these guys, so we'll just have to bum rush them. Yep, I think that's about it for the freezing flame up. But here at Captain New, we don't like to have shitty weapons on this channel, so we're going to go ahead and make some adjustments to it and make it a whole lot better. So, under the weapon workbench, we'll chuck out this freezing effect for something a little more colder, should I say. We'll scroll all the way down and, hmm, crystallized fires cry later, crystallized projectiles. You know what, that fits the theme of a freezing flame up, let's go ahead and try that. Let's go and kill Swan with the crystallized huge napalm, shall we? Alrighty, let's try our new and improved freezing type flamer against Swan. So, come here, old boy. We'll go ahead and uh, destroy your skull with many, many uh, chunks of cold uh, crystallized uh, things of liquid nitrogen, I suppose. We'll go ahead and crit him just to see how well we can do. And even when th this powerful sort of legendary effect is on his face, we're still doing pretty terrible damage onto him. But that Vats one was pretty good, so we'll go ahead and continue. And we'll go ahead and shoot him from a distance, like this. So, unlike uh, the Cryolator, this thing would have a much higher ammo capacity, which means we can sustain this fire for a lot longer. And... What's he doing over there? Is he terrorizing other NPCs? You know, I can't let you do that, old swan, so, uh, would you mind turning your attention back to me? There we go. Oh, he killed a doggo. Bastard. Come back here. Swan, you have crossed the line today, alright? You have crossed the line. We'll go ahead and, uh, shoot his face once again. Get that first crit just to get the damage going and not to miss the first shot. And there we go, we're doing much better damage in VATS now. He's hit the mutation station, so we can go ahead and run away like a coward once he's done here, because we'll be out of action points. Pop a quick reload while we're out there, and uh, continue firing at him like this. Looks like uh, Gene over there is helping me out once again, so good on him for distracting Swan as I go ahead and do this. Ow, that hurt Swan. You're being very, very rude today, old boy. I'm going to have to shoot you in the head with more cryolator projectiles. And while this thing isn't making sound, you can tell that it's doing its talking in the damage that it's doing in VATS. Very, very good indeed. I think we're good enough to just about finish him off now. Come on. Almost dead. Almost. Don't know... Oh, I know why we weren't doing any damage at that far range. It's because the damage drop off of the flamer is terrible, because it's a flamethrower, obviously. It's only penciled down at 49 range, rather than, like, a couple of hundred that the assault rifle usually is, so... That's why I can't do damage there. But there you have it. There was the freezing flame, a completely terrible weapon, until I decided to sort of upgrade it with my own legendary effect, so... If you'd like to see this weapon in your game, and why would you, check out the links in the description. But if you'd like to see it with the more improved Captain Noob effect, then you can go ahead and download that mod too and chuck it on your flamer. Thank you for watching, guys.